Sometimes I see new desktop concepts, people like implementing from scratch new desktops that do look interesting. I'm uh, thinking of Cuttlefish as an example, but it's also kind of Jingles, uh, Jingles, as though it was based on Plasma Mobile to some extent, and many others like uh, ExtendOX, XOS was called. It was a weird concept done in HTML, CSS. It was interesting. Now, this one I think fits the category. It's an interesting new desktop and usually I don't like covering them in videos, mostly because most of the times they are just too not ready to be used. And although I do like new concepts, I just have to point out that they don't work, which is sad. But still, when seeing the videos, there was this one thing that actually convinced me to actually do an entire video about it and which is I was like browsing and I was like, okay, 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 wait, 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 wait. We offer an online preview of Dahlia OS right at your fingertips. And uh, I was blown away from this. Uh, how are you going to deliver on this? Like, okay, the idea as far as I understood it is using uh, Flutter for the applications. And uh, actually let me check again the, how it works page, what? Okay, so the how it works page brings me back to the top. Okay, so uh, it's flatter for the applications and I don't remember what for the desktop. And the ability of actually showing you the desktop on the browser to convince you to use it is amazing. Just think of being able to try out KD Plasma in your web browser before actually trying out KD Plasma on your PC, That that's cool. So I clicked and this is the desktop and it actually works. So let's try it out and I will give you my opinion on these desktops. Just by going full screen, it feels like you are in Dahlia OS. So let's start with the menu. Now animations are a bit laggy, especially now it's better, but in general they're a bit laggy. There is this nice way to a switch between a full screen and a not full screen uh, launcher. This is actually, it was actually proposed for kickoff as well. Uh, it wasn't implemented yet, but uh, in general, I'm always happy to see this concept. And uh, we have got always this floating dialogue without Fitzlow being respected. So putting the mouse here to the left of the dialogue and clicking actually closes the dialogue, which is not the expected behavior. We've got here uh, a button that doesn't do anything. And the only button that actually works is the settings one and opens up settings. Now, of course you're running it on a browser, so I don't expect all of the buttons to work because it's just a preview, but it's still pretty cool to have it. As an example, I don't expect myself to be able to power down my computer from the browser. The browser cannot do that, right? Right. So this is the settings, so it's an example. The menu is rather simple and uh, I'm slightly disappointed by the fact that you can search within the menu, but you do have a dedicated search button, which looks surely pretty, but how well does it do its job? Well, on the web, it does search through apps, of course, I don't expect uh, it to actually search through documents. Maybe it does, I mean, it, it says device and web, so probably documents as well, but you know, it's a browser, it doesn't have documents. So it, it does its job on a browser. So we've got all of the settings. Uh, of course, <laughs> network is not supported on this platform, but the cool thing is that the whole application just works perfectly on the browser and it feels like an application, you can move it around and it's snappy and wow, you can even maximize it. So customization is the most interesting uh, system settings uh, part that you have and you can actually customize where your icons are. By default, it's center, so it looks very Chrome OS like, or I don't know, Windows 10. Uh, no, it's actually more about Chrome OS. I mean, just look at here. You actually get to select a light versus dark theme. I think dark is better. And we get to pick the accent color and obviously orange is the one that best fits the wallpaper. We also get, and this is very nice to pick the border radius, but it's one of those things that don't actually apply to the 
browser image. And uh, we can also have colored uh, title bars. And if you do have colored title bars, there's another option to decide whether they should be transparent or not. For now, let's just stick to this look, which I think is pretty good. Now, of course, all of the other things are completely empty. There is a developer mode, which I don't know what it does, to be honest. Um, environment web build is pretty cool. So let's see here. Uh, in here, the very like task manager does feel very much like Windows 10 one. You get an option to unpin from the taskbar and in here, we get an option to pin to the task and this actually works. We also get a context menu that's not actually a context menu. I'm sorry about the pings in the back. Here we've got a lot of, sorry about that. Okay, so here we've got a lot of interesting things. So first of all, this is so much inspired by Chrome OS and the most interesting part of this whole thing is this shortcuts uh, section. Now, if the sort a shortcut uh, section is actually delivered, then it's pretty cool because I mean, third party apps being able to show shortcuts here is super interesting concept. Android actually does it by default, this ability to have shortcuts that are implemented by third party apps. Of course in here nothing works because web browser, uh, you've got the slider and you can actually switch in theory, at least here you can. Okay, this one is weird, but I don't know, the, the theme works, right? Okay, you have got the theme directly inside of the system tray, you can switch here and you've got the system dark mode. Changing the theme directly from the system tray is something that we could investigate. I do think that we should improve the look of our system tray, but that's just my opinion. Then we you get Bluetooth, our plane mode. It's very interesting that you do get this uh, box around which is of the uh, accent color. This is very, very similar to Zorin OS and I'm always happy to see it because I think it looks good here as well. You can see it. This look of having big buttons that are easy click, uh, I think it's a good idea. I personally like it. Uh, clicking on, on here actually switches languages, interesting. And I think it's a good design to have then the right button like here that actually opens up a sub thing inside of the, well, inside of the system tray, sorry. Now, as far as apps go, well, it's this three, the system settings that I've already shown you, which is now green. So it does update automati automatically. We've got a clock, we've got alarms. Uh, does this actually <laughs> error feature not implemented? Okay, thank you. Uh, so we've, we've got a clock and we've got a calculator, which does basic math. Now, ah, I, I forgot one button. There is also this, which is the desktops. And uh, this is not my wallpaper and this is entirely a mode. So what is my take on this? It's interesting. I'm not 100% sold. And in here, I'm not talking about Delia OS, which uh, to be honest, I'm not that interested in. If the desktops becomes like more full fledged, then I can go check it out and everything. But right now, what uh, interests me is this concept of having the whole desktop inside of the browser to actually make people try out you. It's very interesting. So as far as the shell go, it looks perfect just from a aesthetic point of view. And this is not as easy as it sounds because as an example, actually doing live blur behind elements with corners is not as easy as it sounds. And I know that because I've done it a lot of times. And uh, to actually be able to implement it flawlessly, really, for all of the apps and the shell, perfect. However, especially when you open up apps, uh, well, I understand that, I don't know, like network is not going to work, but the fact that this is the clock app makes me think that either the desktop is very bare bone and this is actually the clock app, which hopefully is not the case, or which is likely, well, this is not the actual app that comes with Dell OS. It's just a recreation in HTML and CSS. And well, good job on whoever actually wrote everything here, but it doesn't quite make sense if it's a different app 
Now it's flatter, flatter. I don't know flatter. I've never used it. Maybe there is the possibility to actually draw apps that should be written for the desktop on the web as well. I don't think that's what's, what's happening here, but in general, I gotta say, I really like the concept. So this is something that I would like to investigate myself and maybe other desktops could give it a try too. If all of the desktops had their own web page where you could try out the desktop with maybe just a couple of more features than just the very bourbon stuff here, like this edit button, I have no clue whatsoever what it's supposed to do and why it doesn't work. Does it like changes the apps here? Then if so, why can't I do that? I mean, it's not like it's limited to being able, to, like having the system actually running on your desktop. Oh, but the gestures work, so that's something. Ah, nice. And one cool thing is that the battery is actually displayed correctly. So if you have 50% battery, the battery is correct. Nice. So in general, I like it, do this. I, uh, let's do more of this. I, I, I love it. That was everything. And as always, I'm legally required, no, I'm just kidding. I really want to thank all of the people who are donating to me. And if you want to see how bad my beard is, I've received a lot of comments about that. Well, now you can do a donation on PayPal and all of the money that goes there will go into buying a better camera. So you will have a more like an improved video quality and you will be able to see the beard, I guess. And uh, so please do that. Also, please subscribe. Please like the videos and share that. See you tomorrow.